Today we're gonna be ranking all the Call of Duty Zombies perks from worst to best. It's a new trend in the community, don't know how it started, but my boy Mango, aka Mentality, he has a face of Mango, that's why I call him like a Mango looking c if you get what I'm saying, and Bluefoot are effing killing this shit, and I did this for all the Zombies maps recently, which I will link it down in the description, and some people got insanely triggered, and I was just like, what? But at the same time, a lot of people were cool, because of course, hey, you were watching, right? And I don't know if you know this, but you're a cool cool ass mother trucker out there and I know it's hard to believe when a YouTuber say this even when I watch a YouTube video and a YouTuber is saying that to me I'm like what is this neba lying this neba's lying I can tell I can feel it but even if it's a lie guys take this as a compliment dog and effing embrace the shit out of it but honestly y'all are cool but hey real quick these are all the new homies that actually subscribe to the channel and you know I appreciate it very much so if you're new on the channel hey make sure to subscribe and notifications on and let me know in the comments so I can feature you in my next video and there are 14 different perks I'm counting double tap 1 and double tap 2 as different perks and also really quickly Quick Revive will not be on this list as that serves two purposes in solo obviously it is used to self revive and there are some people that don't get it like what Quick Revive does and I'm just like god damn but in solo games of course it's gonna be in the must have category if you get what I'm saying and in co-op it revives people twice as fast than normal which is good but at the same time it's not like it's going to be in the must have category so Quick Revive won't be on the list so drop a rip in the chat and therefore we're left with 13 different perks and coming in at number 13 we have my boy Tombstone now the Tombstone jingle is just oh absolutely love it and the perk is also good the idea was brilliant but it wasn't executed very well and the reason why I have it on my number 13 spot is the fact that it is in transit which is automatically classed as the worst map by a lot of people but I effing enjoy transit so don't put me in that spot and tombstone was an exclusive perk to that I remember actually using tombstone I feel like I was playing grief mode but I'm not totally sure what I did was that I got like three perks and I got uh, tombstone as my fourth perk I went down and I bought like two other perks that I did not originally bought and I bought a uh, tombstone again and I grabbed my tombstone Hey, I got all the perks it was absolutely brilliant I don't know if you know this but uh, that actually worked in Call of Duty Zombies back in the days so in that regards it was kind of like the best perk ever it had the mixture of perkaholic and self medication if you get what I'm saying but at the same time it was only in transit and in transit it wasn't the best at all like once you go down it is insanely hard to pick up your tombstone and make it back on your feet it is ridiculously hard but it was really really fun to use this park in town grief I believe I feel like it was town grief but I could totally be wrong but coming in at number 12 spot we have Deadshot now Deadshot is an alright perk but at the same time it's like very sort of alright perk if you get what I'm saying it's like if you buy this perk you're technically wasting your perk slot because of course you can only buy four perks normally of course in black ops 3 you can get unquenchable and in black ops 3 of course if you buy or if you get perk of out of the gobblegum machine well you're going to get dead shot and it's just like eh, if you get it so be it let it be there and things like that but at the same time it's not a perk that you're going to buy and be satisfied if you're doing like headshot challenges and shit like that or you're grinding for headshots then it makes sense to buy this perk but at the same time if you're going to go for headshots you need to be doing the catwalk strategy and killing zombies with the dingo or the dredge and aiming for the head and you can easily aim for the zombie heads if you're doing that so in that regards hey it just cancels out dead shot but coming in at number 11 now this one was like a cool ass idea for a perk and I'm talking about who's who now who's who once again this was an exclusive perk to only one map and that was die rise which a lot of people hate but don't put me in a spot I also like that map every time I play I enjoy that map but who's who was that perk that was like really a hit or miss for a lot of people to me I'm like 50 50 on that it was like if you have quick revive and you got who's who and you go down you will get a second chance and if you don't revive yourself quick revive will revive you so in that regards all you had to do was just like survive and that was it so in that regards all you needed to do was run and survive and you'll be good to go but if you did not have quick revive then you would have to revive yourself and a two hit system in black ops 2 like it was real bad and it was real hard to revive yourself so that's why it's at our number 11 spot 
But coming in at number 10, we have Double Tap 1.0. I'm not talking about the Double Tap 2.0, I'm talking about Double Tap 1.0 that acts like a rapid fire attachment that you get in Black Ops 3 weapon kits, right? It was an alright perk, especially back when we did not have a lot of perks in Black Ops 1, right? So that's why it comes at over number 10 spot, but at the same time, we have a lot of other great perks. So at number 9, we have Mule Kick. Now, Mule Kick is really that perk where good players will be like, nah, I don't need you, and uh, new players will be like, oh, it's the greatest perk of all times. Let me explain. Now, Mule Kick is that perk that will let you have another gun, an extra weapon, a third gun, right? And that you'll be looking at and saying like, oh, Skizzle, this Nibba's crazy. He placed it at number nine, should have been a little bit higher. But honestly, having a third gun can significantly increase your chances to go down very easily on an early round. Because what happens is that if you have a wonder weapon and you got a second gun and then you got a third gun and you get corner and you have your second gun out you're gonna press triangle and you're gonna be on your third gun but guess what you're almost going to be dead and by the time you switch to your wonder weapon neba you dead but at the same time it's really complicated because a lot of players would say hey I could press triangle triangle or if you're playing Xbox I believe it's Y wide right so a lot of people would say that but at the same time if you go down you'll be saying hey well I shouldn't have bought mule kill but coming in at number 8 spot, we have Stamina Up. Essentially what it does is that it actually gives you more stamina. That's why it's called Stamina Up. Mind-blowing shit, I know. But in some maps like Transit, it is very useful. But in other maps, it's more or less. But Stamina Up is that perk that will make your training a little bit more enhanced and it will make you enjoy your training spots a little bit more. So that's why it's at over number 8 spot. But coming in at number 7, we have my boy, PhD Flopper that did not make into Zombies Chronicles. Press F to pay respects. But PhD Flopper, it's one of the greatest perks, but at the same time, gotta keep it at number 7 because the use for this perk was basically like you're not going to receive any fall damage. And when you have guns like, for example, if you pack a punch the starting room pistol, which some people say they effed up in Black Ops 3, I'm talking about the M1911. Uh, when you pack punch the M1911 or when you pack punch the RPG in Black Ops 2, or basically whenever you have anything that has to do with explosive, you're not going to receive that explosive damage. So in that regards, it was absolutely beautiful because in Black Ops 1, what you normally do, you get the Thunder Gun and you pack punch your starting pistol and you buy PhD Flopper. So in that regards, this perk was considered one of the best, but it was not available in Black Ops 3 Zombies. But coming in at number 6 spot, we're talking about Speed Cola. Now Speed Cola is that perk that is super useful in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, but guess what? In Black Ops 3, we got 8 Zombies map remaster. We have 14 maps in total, and technically there are only 21 maps in total, if you get what I'm saying. Of course, I'm counting the original and the remaster maps as one. So, uh, we got 14 maps in Black Ops 3, and we have this thing called Fast Mags in Black Ops 3 weapon kits that you can have on your guns, and uh, CUDA, Vesper, and VMP are technically the guns that you're gonna buy off of the wall. And when you have Fast Mags on those guns, hey, you don't really need Speed Cola. That's gonna be a slot wasted, but I do understand the fact that if you're playing Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1, then you absolutely need Speed Cola, and therefore, it is at or number 6 spot. But coming in at number 5 spot, we have one of the greatest perks by the name of Double Tap 2.0. It lets you shoot two bullets, but it's still going to count as though you have fired one bullet. Shit's crazy, absolutely love this perk. If I had a chance, I would have kids with this perk if you get what I'm saying, but at number 5, we have Double Tap 2.0. And guess what? This perk was introduced to us in Black Ops 2 Transit. Now coming in at number 4 spot, we're talking about Electric Chariot that was first introduced to us in Mob of the Dead. Definitely one of the best perks and Mob of the Dead was just like, oh. An Electric Cherry is that perk where you have a weapon that you reload, you are going to release a surge of electricity. That's why it's called the Electric Cherry. Shit's crazy. I fin love this perk. That's why it's at our number 4 spot. And it works really, really good with Double Tap 2.0 and Speed Cola because you reload faster, you shoot faster, you do more damage, and you reload and you release that surge of electricity that will kill zombies around you. And that's a perfect combination. But at number 3, we have 
Widow's Wine. Now, Widow's Wine was introduced to us in Shadows of Evil in Black Ops 3 Zombies, and it's one of the best perks, of course, that's at our number 3 spot. And Widow's Wine is that perk that will give you 4 spider webs, where if the zombie hits you, they will be webbed, which is absolutely beautiful. This perk kept me alive so many damn times, and also gives you more melee damage, and whenever you melee a zombie, doesn't matter if you have a spider grenade or not, whenever you melee a zombie, let's say you got a last zombie and you wanna hit the mystery box, you melee that zombie, and that zombie will be there for a little bit where he will not move and you will get 10 points uh, every single second which is absolutely beautiful and on a high ass round well that will not kill a zombie and that makes it so you don't have to make a crawler and everything like that which is just absolutely just off. But coming in at number 2 spot we have Vulture Raid. Now I cannot explain how beautiful this perk is. It was first introduced to us in Buried in Black Ops 2 Zombies. Basically when you buy this you will see shit through the wall you'll know uh, where pack punches, where guns are, where mystery boxes. It will drop some cash on the ground, some ammo as well, which is not a lot, but at the same time, we cannot neglect it, so that's that. And also, it actually drops that green smoke. That is just effing beautiful. It acts like in plain sight from uh, Black Ops 3 zombies, and if you stand in it, zombies will not hit you, they will not see you, which is absolutely beautiful, and in that spare time, you can actually reload your guns, and of course, in Buried, we have the Paralyzer, one of the greatest wonder weapons of all time and this can let your paralyzer cool down but of course coming in at number one you already guessed it we're talking about juggernaut i don't even have to say anything so we're going to end this video right now let me know your list in the comment section right now check out some other videos on the screen if you have missed any of them subscribe if you happen to be new and if you did enjoy this video smash the like button and i'll see you very freaking soon